Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you two top ways to ghost UEFI on Windows 10. We have two parts in this video. Part one: Ghost UEFI Windows 10 with Ghost 32. Part two: Ghost UEFI Windows 10 without my backupper. As you know, GPT desks require UEFI boot. If your Windows 10 operating system is installed on a GPT desk, you may want to go to UEFI Windows 10 for system protection. A GPT system desk has three partitions included. There are System Partition, Microsoft Reserve Partition, also called MSR Partition, and EFI System Partition, also called ESP Partition and they are hiding in Windows. If you need to ghost Windows 10 on a GPT desk, you should back up these three partitions at the same time. Then, how to ghost Windows 10 UEFI? We bring you two ways here. Let's see the first way. Download Ghost32 and open it first. Click OK when the information screen appears. Click Local and select Partition. Then, click to image. Select your source disk and click OK. Hold Ctrl and select the three partitions. System partition, MSR partition, and ESP partition. Select a place to set the image backup. You can specify a name of the backup, for example, Win 10 Ghost. The tool will ask if you'd like to compress the backup. You can choose No, Fast, or High. When asked if you are ready to proceed, click Yes. Select Continue, and then Quit to exit the program. Now it has been done. With this ghost image created just now, you can restore your system easily when problems occur. Click Local, Partition, from Image. Browse and select the image you wish to deploy. And click OK. Select the destination drive. Click Yes and proceed with image restoration. That is the first way to go to UEFI on Windows 10. However, it probably misses Microsoft Reserve Partition because the partition should be selected manually. Also, it is not user-friendly and may cause much inconvenience. Here I'd like to recommend an easier way to go to UEFI. On my backupper, it is an easy-to-use UEFI imaging software. It offers an intuitive interface to help users ghost Windows. Once something bad like system crash or hard disk failure happens, you can quickly restore your computer to the normal state with the backup image. The best part is that you can even restore the system image to dissimilar hardware. Just Google Ami Backupper, download and install it. Here comes the second way. Run Ami Backupper Click Backup from Home page and select System Backup. It will automatically select the system-related partitions, including ESP partition and MSR partition. You only need to select a destination path to store the image file. Then click Start Backup. After it finished, we can use the image file we just created to restore the system. Click Restore, and then select Task to load the backup task you created before. You can also click Select Image File to locate the image file directly. Select the System Backup Task, and then click Next. Select to restore the entire backup image or a partition in the image, 
and click Next. At the Operation Summary page, preview the operation that will be executed. If you want to restore the system image to another computer with different hardware, you can tick Universal Restore. Finally, click Start Restore. To ghost UEFI Windows 10, you can use either Ghost32 or Alme Backupper. Compared to Ghost32, Alme Backupper is smarter and more user-friendly. It can select system-related partitions automatically when creating a system image. That is all about the top two ways to ghost UEFI on Windows 10. Hope you can get what you need after watching this video. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.